dearest children happy independence day to all of you from veno skill training academy we know that every child is unique and every child works hard to inspire the globe in his own way with that spirit in mind and with all uniqueness we are bringing to you some of the best and the most useful independence day information which needs great voices to spread its essence all over the country would there be greater voices than yours children never right so spread these information so much that everyone would feel proud to be an indian if you feel the presentations to be big you can present them as a team with few of your friends celebrate the best independence day ever all the best children rock the stage with your courage and confidence a glorious good morning to all of you i am at the pinnacle of my enthusiasm to stand before you and express the vision of tagore for my nation helen geller who revealed to the world that life is a daring adventure was once asked what is worse than being blind she said having eyesight with no vision is even worse what is a nation without the vision of great leaders isn't it the vision of our great leaders that is driving our nation forward just think one of the greatest visionary leaders is rabindranath tagore and his vision for the people of our country was expressed brilliantly in his own words as when the mind is without fear and head is held high when the knowledge is free when the world has not been broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls where the words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into dreary desert sign of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake let's go through the vision of tagore for his countrymen line by line when the mind is without fear and the head is held high fear is the root cause of all evil if we do not destroy fear fear destroys us all the battles that we have to fight in life are with and within ourselves that too with the fear within us sometimes a jellyfish eats a snail but as a snail is covered by a shell the jellyfish cannot do anything to it and to survive the snail slowly starts eating up the jellyfish and a day comes wherein the jellyfish is no more same is the case with fear it destroys us from within until we are no more so conquer fear when will our mind be without fear when can we hold our head high when we are transparent when our life is an open book when we are the same internally and externally when we have nothing to avoid or nothing to hide then we can lead our lives without fear holding our head high the next line of his vision reads as when the knowledge is free knowledge decides what we can do and what we can be everyone must empower himself with knowledge and must become a teacher to educate everyone creating a better society before britishers invaded india our literacy rate was 100% this took britishers to a shock as their literacy was only 2% at that time they realized to capture india they have to destroy knowledge and that's what they did after 250 years when they left our country our literacy rate was only 6% lack of knowledge made us slaves for 250 years lack of knowledge will make us slaves so let's aim to be learners and a teacher for life the next line of his vision is 
where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. A united nation flourishes. Together we can achieve anything. A country is broken up into fragments with discrimination. Discrimination is being made on the basis of caste, religion, income, color, gender, position and power. Discrimination creates all the damage, as when we discriminate, we judge. When we judge, we hate. Can we find peace in hatred? What is life without peace in it? Think. Let's never discriminate anyone. Let's consider everyone to be equal, as Jesus says, love all, love all the time. We are equal in birth and death, and then why does discrimination come in the middle? So never discriminate. Consider everyone as equal and love all, all the time. The next line reads as, When the words come out from the depth of truth, what is that one reason for all the mental worries that we are encountering today? Is it not because we have an option of telling lies? If we destroy that option, and if we have to speak only truth, would there be any mental worry for us? Just think. Gandhi's greatness, or for that reason anyone's greatness, was because they were truthful. As truthfulness alone builds faith in any relation, and can any relation exist without faith? Think. Be truthful and speak only truth. The next line reads as, Where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection. Every citizen should work every day and every second towards perfection in his chosen area of work. As consistent effort alone builds an ability in us, how can we ever become useful to people without any ability? And how can we get respect, image, status and dignity without becoming useful to people by developing an ability? So let's do work tirelessly every day towards perfection. The next line of his vision is, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into dreary deserts and of clear habit. Tagore wants everyone to flow like a river, without stopping, though we encounter obstacles in our way, as river reaches an ocean, an eternity, a limitless potential, we too should work consistently and become a limitless potential. When we are limitless potential, nothing becomes impossible. So go on, never give up your fight till you become a limitless potential. And the prayer goes as, Where the mind is led forward by thee into every widening thought and action. Tagore wishes our minds to be guided by God with wonderful thoughts to create great works, asking us to have at most faith in God to fill our mind with wonderful thoughts, which ultimately results in wonderful actions. Ravindranath Tagore concludes his prayer saying, Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake, so that heaven of freedom comes. When we are transparent without fear, holding our head high, when we are a learner and teacher for life, to give freedom for knowledge, when we never discriminate, treating everyone equally, loving all, all the time, when we are truthful, speaking only truth, when we work tirelessly towards perfection, when we never give up till we become a limitless potential, when we live in faith of God, then our country is a heaven of freedom. Let's follow the vision of Tagore and make our country a heaven of freedom on earth. Will you? Every day, in every way, life is getting better and better. Don't miss to be a part of Venus Skill Training Academy, as you can't miss life.